First, I just want to start out by saying uh, uh, the officer has been released from the hospital. So uh, we're very, very thankful that uh, his injury ended up not being as severe uh, as initially thought. Um, and the incident I'm talking about, we had already provided a briefing, occurred at 317 this morning out at an address near 21st and Mays Road. Officers responded to a shooting at that time. And uh, upon their arrival, they discovered that it was an off-duty officer's home where this occurred. Uh, he, his wife, and his two children were in the home when they were awoken to an intruder inside the residence. Uh, the intruder uh, had a firearm and uh, began ordering the uh, off-duty officer giving him directions on what to do, at which time uh, uh, he was able to retrieve, the off-duty officer was able to retrieve a handgun and a shootout ensued. Uh, numerous rounds were fired, we don't know exactly how many at this time, uh, by the suspect as well as the uh, off-duty officer. As I mentioned, the off-duty officer was shot once in the leg and the suspect was shot multiple times. The officer's wife and two children were not physically harmed during the incident. Um, the firearm that the suspect had, uh, we know a little bit of information on it. We will continue to dig further, but that was a stolen gun. We will provide more information on that as we, as we get it. Uh, the intruder was identified as a 24-year-old male, uh, Christian Webb, W-E-B-B. And he uh, died at the hospital shortly after the first press briefing that we gave. Obviously, this incident uh, hits at the heart of, uh, of many of us. We still don't know whether this was a, a targeted event or if it was random. Uh, as I mentioned this morning, there was a couple of vehicles down the street that were broken into. Uh, and we believe that our suspect, uh, Webb, in this incident may have been responsible for those as well. We haven't confirmed that at this time, but believe that's the case. But as I mentioned, this is a concern. This is everybody's nightmare to wake up to an intruder in your home uh, with a weapon and threatening you and your family. And we are uh, very thankful that the officer uh, should recover without any issues. And we pray for a speedy recovery for him and his family. Keep in mind, this is, did only happen about uh, you know, five, six hours ago. So we're still gathering a lot of information. Okay, so we'll give you updates as we get them and be happy to take a couple questions if you have them. Do we know how the officer get into the house? Uh, a door may have been unlocked, it may have been opened. We're still confirming that. There was not forced entry. Yeah, there wasn't forced entry. Did the off-duty officer use a service weapon or was it a private uh, weapon? Uh, it was a service weapon. In that instance, is uh, policy station since he was off duty and he wasn't in, in the role of an officer at the time, is an investigation the same as or different than as if he's a civilian? Yeah, so we will still investigate it internally uh, as well as the criminal investigation as to what happened. Right, there's always two tracked in shooting, whether it's on duty or off duty. Yeah. So administrative? Uh, there will always be an administrative investigation regardless if the officer uses his duty weapon or another weapon just because it's you know lethal use of force so right now you guys still don't know if this was a targeted attack there were a couple targeted attacks on other um, officers on duty and off duty earlier this year uh, does that play a role in this I mean does it raise greater concern than it would otherwise uh, well so obviously um, one of my biggest concerns is for our officer safety and their well-being um, you know while we if he was attached to these car prowls and car burglaries, um, it, it may have just been random. But we don't want to uh, you know, just take guesses at this point. We want facts. And at this point, we don't know the answer to that. I have a two-part question. <clears throat> I know we had a drive-by at a, a theater. Uh, an officer was, was shot at there. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked at the video. Do we know what car this suspect may have been involved driving? Is there a possibility that this could be? Yeah, you know, 
I, I can comfortably say those are are not connected. Okay. Yeah. I was curious too, separately from all of this, I know there was no media release on that particular shooting at that time. Was that still under investigation or why why was there no information released on that one? Which one are you talking about? The one that, the drive by at the theater from earlier this summer. Oh, there was information released. It was released uh, um, within, well, first of all, we didn't know you know, we didn't know where a bullet had hit. We didn't have any, I mean, it took a while to investigate to figure out what happened. And uh, in that case, so uh, the officer believed he may have been shot at. There wasn't uh, any immediate evidence that we knew what had happened, if you recall, right? So it took us a while to find a bullet hole in the building uh, to corroborate what happened. Um, we weren't sure that the officer was targeted initially or not. So in these cases, you know, oftentimes we think, we, you, you know, you get that information immediately. You know, this happened, this happened. But we're often uh, conditioned that way by watching TV shows, but the reality is is that in these cases they take a significant amount of investigation, investigative time, and a lot of work to figure out what happened. And the last thing we want to do is uh, make statements without facts. And in that case, we didn't know that the, the building had been hit until a day or two after when we found it, right? I guess the second part of that question then, with this investigation here as it, as it unravels, um, Will there be anybody else that you're looking at? And again, when will you have some evidence as to whether or not this might have been targeted? I think that's the question on a lot of people's minds. Um, well, as we work through it and, and go backwards from where this incident happened, um, it could take, uh, you know, we could know today, it could take weeks. And we may never know, right? Because the suspect is no longer alive. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, that's one thing that we're, very concerned about and we're doing everything we can to find the answer to Where were Chief, you were talking about the stolen gun. Um, we have talked about this before. Mm -hmm. There has been an increase in guns left in cars. Yeah. Can you talk about the specifics of the gun that was used in this incident by the suspect? Yeah. Uh, preliminary information is that it was stolen and we are tracking that down as well. And when we get the facts associated with that, we will release them. Andy, do you know if there's been any break-ins in that area uh, since this was a not a home invasion, but a break-in. Do you know if there's any, a, a rash of more break-ins in that part of town? Uh, you know, I mean, so we see these car prowls, these little car burglary things pop up from neighborhood to neighborhood as individuals walk around and, and look for goods in cars. Um, and there has, that, that area, you know, New Market Square has, they've had some car break-ins. Uh, it certainly is not unusual for that area. It does happen. There's really no place it's immune from car break-ins citywide. Is there any yeah. way of knowing whether the training as a police officer played a role in this situation and responding quickly? Um, well, you know, uh, I would say it played a big role in it. I mean, you know, officers train one, we train how to shoot properly, uh, assess threats, and to take quick action. You know, officers have to make split-second decisions. So, you know, I, I would imagine that his training did play a big part of it. Do you think that could have said potentially what we saved his life and his family's life? It may have. May very well have. Yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll keep you updated as we get more information. Okay, we appreciate your interest in this this case. Thanks.